Hi, hello, this is Mads here. I uh, was going to get Clint to do the voiceovers, but that man can talk for hours about Timberfalls. So here I am, you've got me. <laughs> so today's video we're actually going to be looking at something that we get asked all of the time. Whenever we do this process, we literally get bombarded by questions, opinions, the works. Why are you sanding diagonally? Why are you not going with the grain? How come the angle? What the heck is going on? So we'll be going into a bit more detail about this topic today. Um, it's actually really interesting to note that not every floor gets sanded this way. You would actually assess every floor differently. Each floor is unique. Each floor has got its issues, its problems, things that need to be fixed up. So at the beginning of each job, we actually assess, see what direction we need to go in, and we start from there. Now, in these next clips, I'm going to show you what this floor looks like before. You can very clearly see a sort of ripple effect on the floor. Um, the floor has cupped. You can see the little ridges forming, especially in this light. So a floor like this, we will be going in at an angle. So we're actually starting on a 40 grit paper on the big machine. We are using a Galaxy Super 2000. It's an 8 inch machine. Um, been going strong for 10 years. It's great. Uh, Clint's just loading the paper up here, making sure everything is shut and ready. Plug her in. And she's good to be turned on. I love that bit when the bag blows up. <laughs> and uh, here I'm showing you inside of the machine uh, the belt spinning all clipped in and we are ready to start sanding now. It's actually quite funny because on our short form content I speed up a lot of these clips um, but it's interesting to note how slow these machines actually go and how much time in reality it takes to sand these floors. So the floor we're sanding here is a species called Kempis. Um, it's actually got quite a lot of red undertones in the timber. It's very similar to another species called Jarrah and these floors are actually quite hard to lighten up. You would most likely put a clear coat on or you could even go a darker colour. In these clips you can actually really see what the floor looks like now that it's been gone over once. You can really see the strip down the center that's been left in the planks and this is why it's so important to go on the angle so that you catch those ridges first where the floorboards meet and that way you can get the floor really flat and level. So we're actually going to go over those spots again just to get those center pieces. I actually really thought the machine was going to hit me here. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that it's happened a few times. <laughs> so now we're going to be going around the edges of the room with, you guessed it, the edger. <laughs> and yes, we do know it's a funny name. But uh, it's a great little machine. It is by a brand called American Sanders. Also something we've been using for years and years. It does the job really nicely. You can get up so nice and close to the wall, to the tiles as you can see there, because it's got that little guard on the front. So now it's time for our second sand. We'll be going in with 80 grit 
on the big machine, jumping up to a higher grit. And look at that, we are going in sanding with the grain. We'll only ever do the first pass at an angle. After that, we'll make sure that we go along the boards following the grain. Here you can really see the difference it makes going with the grain after you've done an angle sand. Um, you can see all the scratches on the right hand side there. So really important, you can start on an angle, but then you have to go with the grain after that. Right, now it's time for buffing. Um, we are actually going in here with a multi-head attachment on the American Sanders Epoch. And it's with a mix of grits. There's a 60 grit, an 80 grit, and also a 100 grit. So you go a bit higher in grits to finish off the floor. This is going to get it really smooth and ready for your coating. Uh, not an easy machine to handle. I've been on it once and let's just say I will never do it again. Okay, coating time. So if you have watched this before, you will know that we love our water-based polyurethanes, especially the ones by a brand called Burger Seidel. I know that is not how you pronounce it. It is a German brand and it has a really funny pronunciation that I cannot do. So we will always go in with a brush around the edges first before using a specialized roller also made by the same brand of varnish. Um, to do the rest of the floor's coating. Now, it's quite important you have to work quite fast when rolling because you do not want to have stop-start marks or any sort of picture framing, so you really have to know what you're doing here. Now we are at my favorite bit, which is the befores and afters. Look at that amazing, beautiful, flat floor. It is gorgeous. Final coat was done with Ceramic Star in an ultra matte finish, which is just my absolute favorite. I love the sheen. It brings out the colors of the timber so nicely and it looks incredible. Right, thanks so much for watching. I uh, really hope you learned something today in this video. Uh, and if you've got any more questions about floor sanding, the processes, the coating, any of that, please leave us a comment below. We would love to answer some more questions and make some more videos.